All right, hey, so the topic today is when you have a wife that's reluctant to let you have a gun. So if you're a wife who's been drugged to a computer screen and you're being forced to watch this, thanks for being a good sport. I'll try to make it as painless as possible. Really what I want to do is cover three things you may not have thought of that has to do with allowing your spouse have a gun. And if you don't like it, you can just go right back to... Uh, not allowing him to have his toys right after this video. But I wanted to go ahead and ease the burden and start with a story. And it's not completely relevant, but it's peripherally and it's fun anyway. Uh, a couple years back, a few years back, I was training my uh, wife how to shoot. But I didn't just do it like mano y mano. Uh, instead, uh, I was teaching a class. I'm a professional firearms instructor. That's what I do, uh, firearms and tactics if you care, but I'm teaching a class and she was in the class, it was intro to pistol class, and we didn't, hadn't told anybody that she was my wife. I hadn't really acknowledged her in any way, and so we're well into the class, like an hour and a half in, and she's hanging out there, and I'm like, hey, uh, can, I, can I get a volunteer from someone? Uh, you in front, here you go, and, and so she sets up, and I'm having her present the gun and point it, and I come up beside her, I'm like, no, 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 you want to do it like this. And I, I wrap around her like uncomfortably close and I'm adjusting and moving. And guys, I am being very, very inappropriate. You could kind of feel the air go out of the room. Like as everyone realized, dude, you need to back up off of this girl now. Everyone's already imagined the sexual assault lawsuits. Uh, she did give me a one for professionalism on the reviews. A one. It's the worst I've ever gotten on a review for a class. But uh, anyway, we had a good laugh, and as soon as everyone realized this was, in fact, my spouse we, uh, I was training, they thought it was hilarious. We still think it's hilarious. But it, it goes to show, even in a stupid little story like that, uh, us, she's coming alongside kind of not just my you know, profession, but, but my hobby as well. You, your husband may have a hobby. You've got hobbies and kind of the fun give and take a marriage is you inherit each other's hobbies. Uh, a lot of stuff that my wife's into, I just frankly, I don't care, but I really like her. And so we sync up and before you know it, uh, I'm watching the chick flicks for her and she's watching the action movies for me. And before you know it, we actually like the other person's uh, movie genre. So uh, anyway, it can be fun to help share and it's just a great romantic gesture as well. Let me go through three reasons why you should allow your spouse to have a gun. Uh, first and foremost, uh, your husband loves you and desires to protect you. Uh, so e even if you are not really on, jumping on the bandwagon that there's a thousand uh, ninjas about to assault your house and maybe you've had bad experiences in the past, maybe you just think they're inherently bad and you didn't grow up around guns and so just the idea of a gun culture or having a gun is just so foreign like if you invite that evil spirit, the gun, into your house, just bad things are going to happen. So I realize your reluctance can be based on past experience experiences or just not really knowing what's going on, but there's a really safe way to operate guns. And I need you to trust your husbands a little bit. A lot of their desire to have a gun is just because they really, really love you. They want to protect you. It's kind of just wired into us as dudes. We uh, That's part of what we do, protector, provider kind of stuff. And so when we're not able to protect in the fullest sense of bad guys have guns, I don't have guns, guess what? I can't protect you. And it kind of hits me, uh, you know, in the masculine button of, uh, I want to be able to protect. Allow me to be able to protect you. Uh, a second thing is, uh, it could truly, truly save your life uh, or the lives of your kids. It will make you safer. Allow them to have just a baseline of training, safety training. You can lock them up in safes. Whatever contingencies, whatever you know, a uh, deal you have to make just to be able to make that first step, get on board with guns a little bit after you understand uh, just a little bit more. It's not such this massive mountain of intimidation that you've got to hurdle anymore. Just take a one nice little step. Let them get a gun. Uh, so um, this other one is uh, it could truly save lives. Now, no one thinks it's going to happen to you until it does. But guess what? I interface with folks all the time in my different classes, whether they knew someone or they were someone who's gotten mugged or raped or attacked. And it doesn't really matter whether you're from a nice neighborhood or what, whatever part of the country, or you hung a gun-free sign outside of your house. Bad guys don't really care. They're wolves looking for sheep. Why couldn't it be you? 
In fact, it seems like every single time someone is victimized by this, they have that same script of, I just never thought it would happen to me. A third thing, and this is a little bit silly, but ladies, it's kind of not silly. You're going to get a gun in your hand after you you know have that baseline of safety and whatnot. He's going to put that gun in your hand, you're going to aim it, and you're, first off, you're just going to feel like a hardcore awesome chick. You're going to be like, oh... I am all kinds of sexy here, and he's going to notice. He's going to be like, ooh, and an ah, and just like I was pining all over my wife. There's about two or three billion Instagram accounts of scantily clad chicks, I assume. If they're called gun bunnies, and what they do is wear very little and hold guns. And I guess guys really like that. I really like seeing my wife carry guns, and she, he's going to think you're all kinds of sexy. Uh, so that's not a bad thing. It'll take your picture. It'll pine all over you. It'll be a pretty cool thing. So uh, I'm, I'm halfway kidding with that uh, and halfway not. Uh, so um, anyway, but there's three reasons why you should let your husband have a gun. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. It wasn't too painful. Thanks so much for uh, listening in. Give it some thought. Be nice. And uh, see you guys.